my mum and dad, they, that used to be our allotments. Other side of the railway. Where they were all allotments. Trees, uh... That's where we used to have one. Pigs and... They never grew. It were pigs and that, mostly, what they had over there then. And my husband you kept pigs, horses and goats, and he used to ki kill his pigs. And people used to give him orders for meat, pork, and they used to go home on a Saturday night with a, a piece of pork a pound of own fed bacon, a dozen eggs, all from that pub. When I was little, we once had a circus come on stack as well. Yeah, we did. Just remembered that, yeah, a circus come. And that set up on stack. So that was an highlight in his lives. Well, I can remember when uh, he was coming to us and Cart with that Round about, didn't he? He was Round, to park outside. Gilligan. So when I was little, he came with that. Gilligan, the car, and I think it's... Yeah. York Museum there, or something. I can they remember him, come. him coming outside. School. Old rags, old bottles and that, for a ride. With us and cart. Yeah. Uh, the school, the what school there, where they set school at? At the bottom of this street, that's where they used to stop. There. Then you'd have to run in for your rags and uh, jam jars he took, didn't he? Yeah. And uh, one of the times, I'll just tell you this, my brother John, he run in, my mum must have been doing something, and he took our cheddars, that's my other brother, who I showed you on that photo, he took his best jumper and <laughs> my mum went running out to get it. She said he had about five goes because it took a good jumper. <laughs> It won't turf anymore. She got it back though. <laughs> you see, when we were on about what were here before, you forgot about club. Price and club, uh, opposite church. Of course they were. The what club? You used to skate arena, yeah, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. They used to be skating rink, youth club. Yeah. And nobody mentioned that. Oh, it was lovely. Oh, club. Yeah. And then they'd go in fields and play cards. <laughs> Sit in Bull's Field and play cards. They used to play kick off can, didn't they? Oh, we did when we were young, yeah. Kick off can and bulldog. You used to put a can down. Oh. And everybody used to get idded. And then you'd kick can off. And, and then you put it back down again. And you had to go looking for them. And somebody was there to get to can, back to can before you got back to it, if you know. And did you ever play that where lads used to get a piece of wood, then cut out a, a shape like, have like a bat in the end, it would, and then bat it. Peggy. Peggy, that's what they called it, Peggy. Did you play that in Ireland? They used to take bets on it down here, did all young lads? Just to bet, see who could get furthest. Yeah, we used to have to go as it part, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Years ago. But we had but parties. Like, yeah, Not sometimes we'd get a big rope and have a tug of war, didn't we? Men against women or air dealers in the villages. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that don't happen now, does it? No. no. Whitsuntide. Whitsuntide. That's right, when you got to. Uh, uh, no clothes and that, on it? Well, we used to get pumps. We'd do a tour at village to our relations just to show them a pair of pumps. <laughs> That's how we got like a pair of pumps. You thought you'd got like. Well, did Yeah, I did ask. Well, like bonfire night, we all, I mean, we can't now because they've done stack, but we always have a big bonfire and we put gazebos up and we all make some it between us to fetch all snap down and. We all get together then, on fine nights. But I mean, we can't now because they don't know staff. And we used to go to Brotherton for a drink of beer then when we were a younger days, you know. And and <laughs> I didn't drink it when I was younger because my dad wouldn't have liked it, you know. And uh, I used to say, I once says to Arthur, if you want to go for a drink, because I know we'd like to drink, go on, I'll stop here, I'll be all right. And he left me at Top Road at Brotherton, right lonely. 
uh, uh, because I was I sat with this old couple and I knew they wanted to go to bed. And I said, you go to bed now, you lock your door. It'll be coming with Arthur. And I was stood on the top road at Brotherton. And all of a sudden the lights went out. I thought, right, that's 12 o'clock. And I'm still stood there. And I heard a, a woman's feet coming up at a peak. And this couple came and he says, what, what, what are you doing, love? I says, I'm waiting for my husband. I says, uh, he's supposed to have gone for a drink at three horseshoes. He says, what do they call him? I said, Arthur Milner. He said, hell, he's been gone home some time since. He says, but he was drunk. And he was with Georgie Payne on horse and cart. Well, they come through Park, what we call Park, Old Lane now. They were a big hall there. So instead of coming on the road, they came through the park to come up the lane into Bryston. And uh, they let us off. And they got down to sleep somewhere. Anyway, it eat all potatoes and a lot of potatoes. <laughs> and they, they got into trouble over it. They found out whose horse uh, who's it was, you know. Must be two pubs just up road and that's gone. They're gone anyway, they went home on it now. That was a good pub, wasn't it? Very good pub, we don't say it very It was like a working class, it was a working class pub, wasn't it, everybody? Yeah, getting up, singing up, karaoke, and everybody in, friends enjoying the same. Never yeah, know about it. If you ask anybody, they're like, oh no, price and bottom. It was a great right pub, wasn't it? We just call it so, home, home base. We just go out town for a couple of hours, you know, and then all the money was come back and stop the alarm closing time. It must be good. It was a good pub. Yeah. There was a big room where everybody could mix and they could dance and all like that. And then there were what you call pick hole, just for the men. So they could talk about the work and the union and that, you know. Yeah. And then there were a big concert room upstairs. There were about, oh, a dozen or more steps to go up. And Clara, you would remember Clara, Clara Wickham. Rob. She'd get a tray of beer, a dozen of them. And she'd walk up them stairs just like we would, empty handed, all full of beer and never spill any. Taking it upstairs. That lovely. I live on my own and I go through all this many a time on an eye. You know. <laughs>